Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Uh, I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I got uh, at the two estate sales I went to on Friday. Um, there were no garage sales. It was pouring down rain. So um, I was fortunate enough to have two estate sales pretty close by. Um, the first one I went to, I got there, walked in the door at 1 o'clock, and the guy looked at me and said, well, we were going to start doing half price off everything at uh, 3, but we decided to start it now. I'm like, great. So, I picked up this ashtray. This was, I think, like a dollar. This is Hotel Pennsylvania. This, uh, I learned, what is a match holder for your matchbook. Didn't know that. But sometimes um, ashtrays can sell pretty well. I've sold a couple of them in the past. This one doesn't seem to be selling very well, but we'll see. Um, got this plate. This is Christmas 1981 in Trafalgar Square in um, England. And I bought it because it's Wedgwood. It only cost me a buck, and I know why, because there's a lot of them on there and none of them are selling. But so be it. And the rest of the stuff that I bought, um, oh, except for this. I bought this because I just like the shape of it and found out, you know, I call it a pitcher. I found out that it can also be called a ewer vase, and I'll put the spelling up there. When it has this flared um, top on it, it's called a ewer vase. And uh, if it makes more than 10 bucks, then I'll call it a vase. If it's less than 10 bucks, it's a vase. But anyway, it's by Stangle, S-T-A-N-G-L, very famous pottery company started right here in beautiful Flemington, New Jersey, a long, long time ago. And uh, some of their stuff's collectible, you know, depends on the piece, but I think I might have good luck with that one. That was um, five bucks. Found this um, fountain pen or, I don't know, dip pen, whatever you want to call it. And I don't have this on macro, so you can't see it, but it says Gleam Eagle Pencil Company on it. So I think they threw it in there for free, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. And like I said, everything I, else I bought was books. Um, I find that at the estate sales, you know, a lot of the prices are really high on a lot of the stuff. But the books you can usually get pretty cheap. So that's what I buy, and I have good luck with some, and I don't have good luck with others, but um, the ones I have good luck with make up for the ones that don't sell. But found another Bible. This is a Masonic Bible. So I'm hoping that sells pretty well. That uh, went up tonight. And whoever lived in the house was Russian, or had Russian family members. I bought some Russian books, that the ones that I could figure out what they were. This is... Um, what is this? Found it on the inside of the title page. No, of course I can't open it. Oh, this is the Book of Mormon in Russian. So I don't know if I'll get any hits on that or not, but I figured for a buck I'll take a chance. And this is uh, Ukrainian Bible stories for kids. So if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it in, in honor of my great grandmother who would be proud that I bought something Ukrainian. And this is the most interesting Russian book uh, found out from the title page. This is The Great Train Robbery by Michael Crichton, who um, also wrote you know, Jurassic Park. So, and he's since passed away. So we'll see what happens with that. And I found Wyatt Earp, which, you know, thought might be worth something, but it's not. But my son might want to read it. Then there was this, Around the World in 80 Days. This was uh, a book they put out in honor of the Broadway show uh, by Michael Todd, who was Elizabeth Taylor's third husband, the one that died in the plane crash. But it's a really nice book, but there are a bunch of others on there, so I don't know if that'll go. And then I bought this one. It's Literary England in Photographs. And this one might go because it's got a really a lot of really nice pictures in it. And the last book I bought there was a yearbook. 
They had 10 on it. I got it for like four or five, but it's a really nice yearbook from Ryder College in you know, beautiful downtown Trenton, New Jersey. Um, it's got some wear here, but for the most part, it's in really good shape for as old as it is. So we'll see what happens. I know I've heard some other people say that you know, sometimes yearbooks sell, so I figured I'd take a chance. So that was the first sale. Second sale I went to, same thing, got a lot of books. Um, but did get some coffee mugs. The ones I showed in my last video by uh, from Starbucks and Taylor and Ning, I also bought it at this sale. Got this um, Boynton one. Uh, Boynton has sold for me in the past. This one needs to be cleaned up. That was a um, dollar fifty cents. And so is this one. This is another Laurel Birch piece. I showed um, a pair of earrings by her. Uh, last week or the week before. This one's not selling very well because it's um, not the cats, which she's most famous for, but it might sell eventually. Then I got some old games. Got these really nice vintage dominoes. They say American on the back. So pick those up. Haven't been able to find any like it on eBay. Got this old game of anagrams, mainly because I know the tiles will sell. So that's why I got that. But that was also a dollar. Found another Scrabble game. And um, I think what I'm going to do is put all the tiles in a lot. I found um, like 400 tiles. There's 100 tiles in each game. I have four games now. So I've checked on eBay and lots of 400 tiles go for around 40 bucks. Then I found this thinking this might sell. It's called the Thinking Man's Golf Game from like 1968 or something like that. And um, it doesn't. So <laughs> that's a clunker right there, I think. Found another yearbook. Paid four or five for this one also. This is from, I think it's Indiana. And somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But really, really cool like retro graphics and stuff in here. And I got some playing cards. Got them because they were brand new in the package. They say 67 the year, the big payoff. I can't find any others on eBay, but I'll, you know, see what happens with those. Got some really interesting little souvenir books. This one's Little Journeys in California, which has pictures and text in it. Same thing, Little Journeys in Colorado. These were, I think, a buck a piece. The cards, they might have been like, I don't know, a quarter or 50 cents. These are cool. This is a um, souvenir photo tone views. This one's are the Catskills. And they have 20 little picture postcards in here and you just put the stamp on here and send it to whoever you want. But it's in really nice shape. I love this cover. But that's what they look like. Oh, hoping to make some money on those as I drop them on the floor. This is a um, booklet of found out these are Dutch postcards and these are selling separately on eBay I haven't seen any of the booklets so maybe I'll have good luck since this is a whole booklet then the rest of these books um, Ohio Treasure Hunter you'll probably like some of these because these are all um, really old poetry books this is Goldsmith's The Deserted Village this one's from uh, 1914 uh, ballads and poems. Um, well, it was given to someone in 1907. And this is by Longfellow. This is Idols of the King um, from Tennyson. Again, really, really old. And they're in pretty good shape for being so old. Uh, of course, I can't find a year. Oh, 1892. 
And American Poetry, DeMille. And 1923. This, I'm not sure about this. This is the Pathfinder. It's from by James Fenimore Cooper, and I can't find an edition on it, or you know, a date or anything on it. So I'm not sure if this is a first edition or not. I highly doubt it, but for a buck, I had to pick it up. And then finally, I found Backcountry Poems. This one, I don't think it has a date in it, but also really old. So, those were my picks for Friday, and um, I will be back with my picks from Saturday. So, uh, I will talk to y'all later, and have a great day, and good luck this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.